Women of CTV with Aaron Racine, now the manager here at Worthing Football Club. Just over a month ago, we were sat here talking about your retirement. Now you're <laughs> back at the club again. How does it feel to be back home? Yeah, no, good. It is. It's exciting. A um, bit of a whirlwind the last few days, and obviously everything's happened so quickly, so it's um, caught me off guard a little bit, but it's just like a an exciting part of my... I suppose my next, my next part in football, I always wanted to get into coaching and or management, so kind of a bit earlier than what I anticipated, but take it by the horns. Absolutely, and um, obviously it being your first management role, how do you feel stepping into that kind of job? Um, yeah, I feel okay. I think me, um, Dean and Buddy have been working relentlessly in terms of like on the phone, discussing so many things over the last few dates, but I think we're all sitting on the same hymn sheet and I think we're quite prepared in terms of what we want to, what we want to try and achieve over these next 11 games. Um, and on top of that, like the support from all the staff at the club have just made it a bit of an easy transition or an easy start at least, um, going into training tonight and then obviously the game Saturday. Looking at um, the situation you're in coming in, how does it feel sort of coming in in that sort of situation? Is there any pressure at all that comes involved in that? No, I don't think so. I don't, <laughs> yeah, well, there's a bit of pressure in terms of What's expected, but that's I think with any any sort of managerial appointment at any club, there's going to be expectations and there's going to be a bit of pressure. But I don't I don't necessarily see it as a bad thing. I just see it as a, a bit of good pressure that keeps um, keeps me on my toes, makes me keep standards high in what I do personally and obviously people around me. Looking at the appointment itself, and Nathan made it quite clear about you guys coming in because you all understand the style. You're a player, a captain, and a coach under Adam for such a long time, so that style of football that the players currently understand, you understand probably better than anyone. Is that kind of the same sort of thing you're going to want to try and implement? Yeah, I think so. I think um, we discussed that we're not really going to try and change too much. We've got ideas which we want to implement, with things that we can add to the current squad and how we're playing. But like they've done so well in terms of the squad so far, doing what they've been doing. I don't think we've got to come in and change much. I think we can just, like I said, add things that we think we can add to it and make us a little bit better and just sort of maintain you know, the standards that Hinch, Gaz and Cam left. 100%. So, um, looking at Saturday, I mean, there's been a lot of support for you, as you can probably expect from the fans. There's a lot of fans heading up to give their backing to you. How big is that going to be for you guys to have the fans behind you? Oh yeah, 100%. I mean, obviously, I, I know how big it was for a player to have fans behind you. It made a massive difference on the pitch. So. Um, they always play a massive part, especially especially away games, I think, and especially a big club like Dartford. They're always going to play a big part. Um, given the situation the club's in, I think it's probably more important than ever at the moment in these, especially these next two games, to have as many fans as we can go to these away games. Obviously, just to support not just like us as staff and players, but I think the club itself. It's obviously um, a big change, and just to help you know get the club through it over these next couple of games. So we're looking into Saturday, the actual the game itself, out of way at Dartford, as you said. How are you feeling going into it? What are your general thoughts looking ahead to it? Just keen to get going. I think it's, like I said, been a whirlwind few days. So it's just just eager to sort of get training tonight and just get to the game in terms of what we're looking at. We're, we're not um, expecting it to be a walkover. It's meant to be a tough game. It's a hard place to go. I know that. I've played there a few times. So, you know, we're going to be... We're going to be ready for it. We lost visit up there, as you said, it was a tricky one. We really edged that win. I think it was a last minute winner for Kane on the day and then the 4 3 defeat early in the season against them. What sort of team are you expecting to come up against? Um, the same. I mean, me again, me, Dean, and Buddy have watched clips from them all week this week, so I don't really think they've changed much in terms of their style. They've got obviously a different personnel, but in terms of the style, um, it was the same when I played against them last year and, and this year. So. Again, I think we're quite prepared, prepared in that sense. Looking at the squad ourselves and internally, who do you think is going to be available? Is there anyone that might be able to come back? Or how do you think it's looking? Uh, yeah, so I think Nicky's about a week away before he starts training. Um, we've got Chopper who took a, a slight knock, so he's probably going to be, again, probably a week off with training. Um, Tommy's, again, about a week off, come back training next week. So I think we'll be missing them three. Um, unsure on the, the duration of, of, of Rocco's injury at the moment. Um, but apart from them, everyone else is sort of fit and ready to go. Good stuff. Well, good luck, Aaron, and all the best. Thank you.